Today we're going to be testing the world's most viral Minecraft mods to see how good they really are. This one called Pandora's Creatures claims to add like an insane amount of new mobs for every single biome. Like this disgusting little creeper here. That, I don't know what that is. It seems like grappling hook. Dancing crabs! Just test one real quick just to give a little flavor of what this mod might have in store for us. Bang! Okay, so give it a review here. Uh, I'm going to say it's a nice creepy creature. Hey there, little guy. Oh, he swipes at you. All right. Hey, that's pretty strong. Let's try this orange one right here. This one is called the Hellhound Spawn Egg. Very cool. A little bit of a bone dog feel. Oh, dang. He's a little bit wild. All right. Hey, that's enough, little buddy. We'll try one right here. We're going for the crab spawn egg. Let's just see that. Oh, my. This might be one that needs to be in vanilla Minecraft. That's just adorable. Look at the little guys. Dang, they snap. You hit them and they go, mm. All right, well, they don't really seem to be doing a whole lot except uh, dropping crab meat. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, we'll try a seahorse. Probably got to put this one in the water. Oh, it's adorable. Look at the little guy. That's great. The animations here are quality, man. These are really good. And it drops a raw, <laughs> it just drops a raw seahorse. Buffalon. All right, that's a big boy. Oh, no. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't really like that one. I'll be honest with you. It looks kind of awkward. It's quite strong. This mod is so helpful. It actually explains how to use them. So this one has to be placed underneath netherrack oh it sucks you into its body yo those have some range bro that's quite strong i like that okay this is the entral and uh can you imagine finding one of these bad boys in the end that is disgusting guys we tamed it you can tame these things oh and it gives them an entire inventory oh, that's kind of a cool feature full on inventory you can store stuff like his brother's inside of his body that's weird getting a little bit creepy and then we've also got this kind of a hammer here yo look at this dude this changes mining I love that. that. That needs to be a game that's added to it. That's really cool, guys. What if Minecraft had mutant beasts? You could have a... Okay, that's that's pretty much a cursed zombie. I'm not going to lie to you. Pretty messed up. This is disgusting looking creep. Has the ability to spawn baby creepers. Is this worth it or not? Yes, guys. We are in mutant beasts. Let's see what the mutant beast looks like. Off the bat here, though. Let's see what items mutant beasts has. Chemical X. Chemical X seems to be what turns things into mutants. So let's give it a shot on the, this. Oh, it's actually damaging this. All right, well, off the bat, Chemical X be doing some damage on these creatures. Here comes mutant skeleton. <laughs> look at this beast you're gorgeous young man you are absolutely gorgeous. look at the job all right so uh obviously y'all want to see me die yo this dude just oh no 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 okay wow all right so he's a little bit op and he's look at this he's still sniping me he's still sniping me here <laughs> now i know you've probably been waiting to see the mutant creeper but we'll do that one at the very end of this patch first we're gonna do the mutant snow golem see what he looks like Ooh, he's just kind of messed up looking i don't know the way that the blocks are like shifted it's uncomfortable what's your face Ooh. Ooh. does he attack another skeleton though let's do anything Oh, he's getting shot by the skeleton himself, and he's throwing ice cubes. Who will win? It's quite the battle. I didn't expect him to be doing that. Give him a second golem, just to be safe. Come on, golems. Get that thing out of here. It's too strong. Do you see the golem? It just jumped in the air like 30 feet. We didn't even know it did that, and it just killed one of them. It's got two of them attacking. Dude, all right, all right, all right. That's enough of that. Now, we do have a mutant enderman spawn egg. I'm kind of curious what this one looks like. Uh, so far, these seem a little bit uh, just kind of cursed, to be honest with you. Dude, that is that is literally the creepiest looking thing. <laughs> oh my gosh, I actually love this one so much. Can you imagine being in a forest and that thing sees you? Bro, that is scary. I want to look at it. What's it do? Oh! Oh my gosh, it turns to Slenderman! Yo, that is sick. Uh, this is the Creeper Minion. Creeper Minion is probably baby creeper. Little, little babies. <laughs> oh, little baby explosions. We do have a mutant zombie to take a quick look at. I feel like... Yeah, that's just absolutely disturbing on a lot of levels. <laughs> I mean... Oh, and they just killed the baby creeper. Oh, these are sick. Look at that attack, dude. All right, all right, all right. That's enough, boys. That's enough, boys. I don't need that. All right, guys. The mutant creeper. Here we go. Three, two, one. Look at this disgusting, disgusting beast. What's this bad boy do? All right, so he headbutts you. He just literally just headbutts you. What's he do? Oh, he... Dude, he leaps and then blows up the ground. And he drops out like four babies. What if I hit him with chemical X? Nope. All right, that is absolutely ridiculous, guys. Seven out of 10. Now, we just looked at mutant mobs, but what if you upgraded the vanilla mobs? What if you took them to a whole new level? That's what we're trying to do today with better spiders. So if you're afraid of spiders like me, this one will be extremely terrifying. They actually kind of do something. So they give us bit. more realistic spiders that can legitimately crawl anywhere in your base to kill you. Because that's actually horrifying. I think off the bat, it already looks like it's kind of tilting. Oh, it's climbing correctly. It's climbing correctly. And the sound. Is that stepping sound a normal sound? This mod claims they can find their way around any obstacle, no matter where you are so we're gonna spawn in just a couple of them <laughs> and then what we'll do is make a tower all the way up to the top and give these bad boys a shot right here we're just gonna go in survival see if they can even see me hey come on boys i feel i feel pretty safe so far that one's like looking right at me i feel like he wants me but... okay those seem to have locked on here they come i mean obviously it was trying to come at me and got stuck is that am i am i not mistaken there i'm not even scared man let's go gentlemen right up the tree up the tree there we go up the tree up the tree we got one we got two we got two okay there we go now it's now it's frightening now it's a little bit concerning 
Oh, okay. Now it's frightening. Now it's frightening. Look at that. Look at that up on the tree. Oh my gosh. That is disgusting. Should this be in vanilla Minecraft when it works? Absolutely hard. Yes. Now guys, we've seen some crazy mods today, but what if we saw one that just changed the game aesthetically by adding in brand new furniture? Take a look at this mod. It's just called the furniture mod. It's only for Minecraft 1.12.2. So kind of old. You can decorate your base in ways you never could before like this with legitimate blinds and campfires. It's probably something the game should have added a long time ago. So here we are in the furniture mod. This scrolling shows you just how much is really in this after all. All right, so let's get a, let's get a quick sample. See how these bad boys look. A stone cabinet that actually works. A chair. Of course, you can sit on it. Why would you not be able to? A fridge that works. Wow, 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 wow. I did not expect these to all be functional. A chair. Just literally a chair to put in your base. Like, yo, this is fire. And you can even turn this light off. Look, it's turning on and off. Bedside cabinet with only three storages. So there's actually doorbells. And they actually make noise. Uh, here's a toilet. Oh, you can literally sit on it. Can you flush it, I wonder? Dang, I wish you could. Wait, press G for farts. <laughs> they put some work into this. This is a present. You can put an item in it and then wrap it, and then you can place it. And then when you open it, you get the item. That's so cool. Uh, here's a trampoline. Uh, does it bounce? Oh. It seems like it actually bounces you higher and higher and higher each time, so that you can just keep going up forever. A photo frame? A you can put a URL to a photo? Oh, guys, wow. look at that. Okay, now we've got to do the TV. So let's take a look here. <laughs> Here's a clock that tells you the actual time. That's actually kind of correct, which is also weird. This is one of the greatest mods we've seen today. I give this one a 10 billion out of 10. Well done. Now, guys, one of the most difficult ones to install. Took me an insane amount of time. Here's a nice little quick montage of what it actually went through to get this to work. We launch it in. I have prepared for this with fabric. Errors were found. Could not find required mod. This is the better end mod. One of the coolest mods you are ever gonna see in your life. You may have seen this viral video that went around and showed what this person did to make a brand new end. It's got 12 new biomes, five mobs, tons of new items. It's, it's absolutely insane. They literally remade the entire end. We're gonna explore it. And, and since I saw this video, I've been really wanting to check it out. Okay, off the bat, this looks very similar just for the end dragon zone, but freaking beautiful. When you look in the sky, we gotta go explore. Okay, so these are very difficult to find. I've been looking for, I don't even know how long, but this is the first biome we found of the better end. The music and sound, actually phenomenal. Like it sounds like you're out in the middle of like a forest. A little bit of an alien thing. Ooh, this is cool. This is cool. Wow, look at that. This looks so cool with the vines dripping off of it. You've got all kinds of mossy wood. There's like four new types of wood, by the way, which apparently even lets you make a glow shroom ladder. Does this glow? Ooh, that's a good looking ladder right there. Oh, ho, ho, there we go. Neighboring biomes in the end. This is like an entire new world here. And what are these? Little jellyfish? What are they drawing? Yo, that's ridiculous, man. Um, let's do the end slime. Ooh, look at this guy. Very cool. So this feels more like a desolate wasteland to me compared to our blue magic zone we just found. End fish. What does that look like? Yo, there should be end fish. Why is there not end fish? This is such a good mod. Okay, that's a shadow walker and it's literally just like a black Steve. I don't like it. Wow. I mean, if that isn't one of the most beautiful biomes I've ever seen, and it's really not laggy at all. My computer isn't that good. <laughs> it's running very well. Another biome. This is only four. I think I've only shown four, maybe five of the 12 there are. Like none of them look similar to the other, but they all fit the end perfectly. Like this, absolutely insane. I'm, I'm honestly uh, just speechless, to be honest with you, how, how amazing this mod is. So yeah, overall, I'm giving this one a 10,000 out of 10. Now guys, one of the all time classic mods, you might've grown up with this one, is called the Twilight Forest. I'm gonna see if it's still good in 2021, if it's even worth checking out at this point. See, as a kid, I never obviously got far enough to be able to fight this stuff, but that's kind of sweet. New biome, is this dude spawning something else? What do we got? Oh dang, fiery armor. So it's got all this new armor and stuff. This might actually be pretty fire in 2021. Let's find out. This sounds like a joke. If you've never seen this, it's gonna look fake and, and it might not work, I don't know. But it says you make a hole in the ground, you pour a water bucket into it. Yo, this is the old water bucket texture. It looks so weird. Then you surround it with flowers. Okay, so it looks like there is a poppy in each corner. I've never done this before. Like I said, as a kid when I used it, this was so long ago. Yellow here. And then supposedly, if I were to throw in a diamond, it would work. I believe this is correct. Oh, it did. Oh my gosh. I didn't even mean to throw it and it worked. Okay, so then lightning hits it and it works. This takes you in to the twilight forest. Are we in? We're in. Whoa, we are in. They've been developing this since 2011. So right off the bat, it's not that different, at least canopy tree wood. I mean, that's a pretty cool tree. I think if this was updated for 1.16, it'd be sick or the newest version. So off the bat, this is one of the new biomes. Obviously got them canopy trees. Oh, that's cool. What is that? Firefly jar. Ooh, that's a nice little item. Oh, we're getting into like a new swamp with freaking reindeer. Are you kidding me? And like, what are these rams? I don't know what this is, but this is kind of sweet. Some kind of a naturally gen well. Yo, what is this? Oh my goodness. What is this creature? Oh, that's spawning them. Okay, that's a spawner. What is inside these chests? I'm very curious. Maze, wafer, firefly, a steel leaf pickaxe, dude. That's so cool. Oh, what even is that? What is this? What is this? Honestly, are you kidding me? 
A scorpion with a slime on its tail. Look at this thing. I love that it's got like all kinds of spider spawners that is naturally generating paintings. Like this is such a beautiful build. I'm gonna try out this pickaxe, by the way, we just got. It's not bad. It also it seems like it's a little bit laggy, to be honest with you. If I scroll down this list, you can see just how much it actually adds to the game, which is pretty crazy. What is that? Miniature quest grove. All right, we'll try that. We'll just pick a couple randos here and see what they do for us. I just thought that was a cool looking block. Ooh, look at that one. That's pretty sick. Um, what is it? Block of carbonite? That's pretty cool. A reactor. Those are literally the sweetest leaves ever. Ice bomb? Ooh, okay, okay. And an ice bow. Which seems to leave a trail of snow behind. This is crazy. I'm giving this a 10 billion out of 10. Now, guys, we've looked at so many mods today that change the gameplay in terms of the mobs or the items, but nothing that yet impacts the villagers. But this mod literally changes every villager to look like a real unique character. They give them all personalities, health traits, and abilities, and it gives villages life. They actually speak, they chat, they have voice, they have quests. It literally changes how villages work. I'm excited to try it out. Already, it actually feels like so more lively. Uh, wow. I mean, I like the villagers, but this would actually be kind of cool. So they all have names, they're all walking around. This guy's an archer and if you right click i can tell him to stay here follow me oh i can get him to follow me that's kind of cool we can chat joke gift shake hand tell story flirt you can get married and have babies in this game mode which is crazy he says not in a million years okay oh and our, our relationship right now is uh negative 11 hearts and we're not married so that's pretty cool oh you can set their new home point by just right clicking you can click on locations and i can say this is your hangout point or whatever like that's kind of cool that's cool and there's also a bunch of items that goes with it wedding ring engagement ring. oh my gosh the fact that the baby boy and girl are physical items in the game is not what I expected. Name your baby. Brent. I'll call him Brent. What do I do with him? And here's something called a staff of life. And this thing allows you to revive villagers. So I guess this is people that have died before. Welcome back, Luigi and Kimberly and Charmine. Yo, yo, yo. They're already killing him. Bro, I just brought him back. Charmine, why are you trying to kill him? I'm gonna give 9,421 out of 10. Very nice. Now, guys, here's a blast from the past. One of my all-time first videos I ever made was actually Minecraft Pixelmon. This was almost five years ago, and this is how it looks today. So, uh, it looks like it's still been updated, and in fact, quite a bit. Look at this evolution right here. Obviously, your boy's picking Trico, all right? Wow, I didn't even know you could do models like that in here. Whoa, dude, that's a whole freaking Pokedex. This was not in the game last time I played it. Oh my gosh, a freaking Ponyta right off the bat. There's a freaking gas. That's pretty cool. A Numel, and they must, uh, they must spawn in the right biomes because it's sand, and he's in the sand. He's a desert Pokemon. Yo, that's cool. My geek mind is losing itself. I don't know what that red thing is, though. Geo dude, all right. He's looking pretty fresh. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, dude. The, literally, the last time I played it, there was like nothing you could do. Oh, it's a Pokemon Center to heal your Pokemon. Here's a Pokemart to buy stuff from. Oh, 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 guys, look what we got. A Diglett underground. A Diglett just chilling by the emerald. Wow, okay, that is sick. A beast ball, sponsored by Mr. Beast. All the potions that literally are in the entire game. Wow, 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 wow. Having not played this in five years, this is mind blowing. Let's try out this beast ball real quick and see. Uh, oh, 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 I think I caught it. How, did, how would you break free from a beast ball? I mean, yeah, guys, I said it once, I'll say it again. This is the best mod we have seen today, especially considering how much this thing has improved over the last couple of years. 10 trillion out of 10. Peace. <laughs>